Oh yeah, this is Angel. Yeah, Michelle. And we arrived yesterday to Chiapas, to San Cristobal de las Casas. And today we are going to go mountain biking around this area. Yeah, we're going to explore some caves and a couple of old cities, I guess. So we'll take a look at this. How do you feel? Hard. There's Michelle trying to handle her back. We've been biking for about three miles and uh, the altitude is okay. We're about 8,000 feet at sea level. But, uh, there are some steep climbs. I'm really good at hiking my bike. Yeah, she's pretty good at hiking her bike. Uh, but right now we have a very, very good view of, uh, I think, San Cristóbal de las Casas. It's pretty. So we just made a little stop at a place called Alcatete, which is pretty good for camping. Um, you can come here and bike, and go hiking, it's pretty close to San Cristobal, it's really tough and beautiful. Yeah, it's just about four, four miles, so let's see. An interesting fact about these uh, national parks it's that it's basically new. It just opened in 2010, so it's been around for five years. So pretty much everything around here is untouched, which is pretty cool. Right now we're just gonna get into the caves or the grutas, which is supposed to be pretty good. I mean, it's already good. Even though the grutas are pretty short, it's worth the 10 pesos that you have to pay to get in. We used to stop at the first church. It's uh, Carmen's church. It was founded by, uh, it was a Catholic church founded in the 1700s. So that's the Catholic uh, cross and that's the Mayan cross. That one over there, the one that looks like a T, that's the Mayan cross. This is as high as we can get and the view from here is 
Yeah. Very pretty. Yeah. The stairs are very tiny. We just biked for another 3-4 miles and we're gonna visit Mammoth Caves which are fairly new. They were discovered in 2011 and they were discovered by accident. A couple of people were just hiking around these uh, mountains and they happened to find them. So that's Let's it. check it out. The caves were just covered by dirt. If you can see it, the line right there, it's where the there was too. And a couple of people uh, decided to explore them, so they went to the city and talked to talked to the city to see if they can finance an exploration. But the government couldn't finance the exploration, and they just put a bunch of people together and started caving and they are called mammoth caves because supposedly there's a mammoth silhouette somewhere right here so I'm trying to find it out okay. <laughs> Just, he said that there was electricity here but uh, it's too humid, so uh, uh, they just broke. Uh, and uh, he said that there's a path somewhere over there that you can like make your way through the other cave. Well, this thing is huge. I'm impressed. Nobody found it before 2011, and supposedly there's a lot to discover, and there's a path that. The locals think connects this cave to another cave. Uh, the guide was explaining a little bit about what shamans do in the other cave. 
Alumbrala porque hay otra lámpara. ¿Quién? look like a mammon. And that was an exploration to the belly of mammoth caves. <laughs> Head over to the blog for more information. Don't forget to subscribe for a new adventure every week and make sure to follow us on social media.